Me when the great one doesn't make a reddit video for weeks. Well if anything you're doing it for yourselves. Rybacks and the great ones kids are not real, they can't hurt you. Why? Let me ask you... Why? That doesn't need to be on the internet. It doesn't belong on the internet. Why? But let's check the greatness of wrestling subreddit again. Hopefully we're not getting any similar monstrosity. And by the way, you gave me trauma for years now, so if you don't click that like button, I don't know, man. I don't know, that's just... That's just disrespectful. Oh my god, is Ryback talking about the great one? Absolutely not on that whole wrestling thing. I'm not a fan of theirs or that guy one bit. I think they're toxic to the wrestling community. And I, I've seen enough information to know that. I don't think so. That guy, I will have a conversation with that guy when I see him in person. And that's a fact. I mean, I hope he's talking about me. A conversation with Ryback that could lead to anything. Not this. Come on, guys. Come on, grow up. Into a fist fight. And the thing is, you know, the question you're all probably having, would I fight Ryback? You know... I don't think so, for obvious reasons, I don't wanna hurt him that bad. The thing is, sometimes I can't control my strength. So, you know, I don't wanna hurt the small guys, if that makes any sense. I mean, look at me and look at Ryback, it's just basically bullying. In all seriousness, I don't think he was talking about me. He was talking about some wrestling guys and I'm not quite sure what he was talking about. Definitely not me. He ignores me. I think he doesn't like me. Anybody that brings up uh, the Great One deal is just getting blocked if we see it. His back must hurt a lot. Are you winning, son? Yes, Roman. Okay, let's be fair. Smackdown is actually a pretty decent show. It's not only because of Roman Reigns. Yes, majority of it is. He is carrying Smackdown, but sh the show itself is still not that bad. Where you at, Roman? Where you at? I'm right here on the stage, bruh. I forgot to mention that on my Smackdown review, he was literally standing watching Edge, and Edge was looking at the camera, where you at? That's basically Ryback avoiding a fight with me. That's basically Nia Jax avoiding a fight with me. They see me, they know how to contact me, but they act like they don't. Roman Reigns in WWE, I'm the head of the table. Roman Reigns in real life. Ooh, ooh, I think, mm -hmm. I think, I think it's very badass. I don't see what your, what's your point. That is the most badass thing I've ever seen, just being this comfortable. You know what would be the most badass thing in the WWE? Having a great physique, just like myself, you know, a long beard that basically covers your whole face, just like me, and coming out with some, I don't know, Barbie music. Or even this. Just coming out with shitty pop music and kicking ass. That's the most badass thing in the world. Ten years ago today, the CM Punk pipe bomb happened. Well, definitely one of the greatest WWE moments of all time. You know, I wish I had the opportunity to cut a pipe bomb. So, my name is The Great One, that is my legal name. And I'm here to basically expose the company. Vince, WWE, by God, you suck. Today, I am going to be ranking the best WWE talkers in the business. You suck! Oh my god. His... He might be one of the best talkers in WWE right now. Due to budget cuts, the next paper will be modified with money in the lunchbox. That's how prestigious it actually is at this point. Pure disrespect. Is the WWE ashamed of the Divas title? WrestleMania? You know, I thought he was a nice guy. He always seemed nice, professional, I don't know, man, I mean, at this point, 
Do I need to make a video to expose him? I don't think so. I think he did it to himself. So true. Raw. Rematches all weeks. Gotta give them credit though. Lately, not so much. For the past two weeks, we actually got brand new matches. For example, John Morrison versus Ricochet. That was really, really nice. I absolutely loved it. Does that tickle my ball sack? Yes, it does. Crazy how Ziggler and Rollins are the only guys in this match that still wrestle with the WWE. Yeah, that's actually crazy. This is one of the best Survivor Series matches of all time. I absolutely loved it. You know, Dolph Ziggler being the underdog, being the last man standing, and also Sting's uh, debut, just amazing, man. This is a hard one. <clears throat> That's what she said. Fire one, push one, erase one from history. Fire one. Roman Reigns, Randy Orton, or AJ Styles. I mean, it's very hard. Really, really hard. Again, that's what she said. Uh, but let's look at it this way. Who's not doing that much in the WWE right now? I mean, from importance, I would say it's AJ Styles. So I'm gonna pick AJ Styles. Push one. Jeff Hardy, Ricochet, or Ali? I mean, let's look at it this way. All of them need a push, but Jeff Hardy doesn't have much left. So I would push Jeff Hardy, bring back his music, put him in the main event, not the show, the actual main event. I want to see a big ass championship rivalry with Jeff Hardy. Race one from history. The Miz. Bobby Lashley or Edge? This is a tough one, man. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I love all of these guys. I mean, Edge is one of my favorites of all time. The Miz is very significant to the WWE and Lashley loves them women. He satisfies them women. It's a tough one, but if we're looking at the WWE history, Bobby Lashley didn't spend that much time in the WWE compared to The Miz and Edge, so as much as it hurts, as much as I'm disrespecting women right now, I'm gonna erase Bobby. And from that point, not a single woman was satisfied anymore. I don't think Reggie can smash anymore, what? Oh, come on. Like when I see these, I hope they're wearing protection or something like that on their balls. Because, well, for obvious reasons. Don't make these kind of assumptions. Reggie can smash and he should. Sad story. Me entering puberty thinking I'll get a cool deep voice and a badass beard. Puberty as hair. <laughs> The way he holds it, this is my favorite meme so far. I've made tons of Reddit videos. This is the best. I, I give you ass hair. hair. It's so true, man. It's so true. I still look like a 12 year old, but never mind. When the weird one hasn't made a Reddit video in almost three weeks, something's wrong. I can feel it, dude. Look. We need more content. I need all of you guys to be more active on Reddit. I want to see new stuff. I want to see memes. I want to see challenges. I want to see. I want to see everything. I want to see funny stuff. I want to see videos. The forehead of the table is very demanding. New gimmick for Corbin. Guess what he is now known as? Happy Corbin. Wait, is that an actual rumor? It seems like I've already heard it. I do like this gimmick. Corbin just being happy about stuff. You know what? I actually appreciate the ass hair. I want to see that. How do you feel about this? Mostly horny. When Dan Bryan knows that Edge will face Roman one on one, honestly, I would not be shocked. If the rumored match wasn't John Cena versus Roman Reigns, I could definitely see Daniel Bryan interfering in that match, attacking Edge and Reigns, and then we get a triple threat match again. Wouldn't mind, but now we need this. I get motivated every time I look at my keychain because of the big guy right back. That is a thing. I, w I want that. I want that. Give me, give, give me, give me that. Like right now, I have a uh, picture of my baby and my wife, and a Dragon Ball. But I would switch. I'm gonna be dreaming of this photo of Ryback for the rest of- Oh, no. <laughs> no. We don't wanna see that right here. We don't wanna see a naked Ryback on, on the video. We, we, we don't wanna see that. Well, that's gonna be enough for today. We've seen pretty much everything. A bit too much, honestly. If I could take something out of this video, that would be it. I'm not going to. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.